अरे खुलना नहीं बोलते
जैरून राज मोहम्मद शेख Set down 
and what you have. Because of each member, all women over the world. Empowerment to women is one of the articles of faith of the UK government. The Bharatiya Mahila Bank is not, I repeat not, a symbol of empowerment to women. It is the substance of empowerment to women, along with many other measures that the government has taken and will take in the future. Only 26% of women in India admit to having a bank account. On the other hand, four public sector banks, including State Bank of India, and several private sector banks have a woman at the head of the bank, and I'm glad many of them are here today. The obvious conclusion is that, despite good intentions, there is deep-seated bias at the institutional and individual levels against women. Since fewer women than men have bank accounts, fewer women are able to get loans. Per capita credit in the case of women is 80% lower than in the case of men. Hence, the need for a bank that predominantly serves women. Some men have also served. That predominantly serves women. From the self-help groups to the small business women, and the working woman to the high net worth potential. Bank credit is expected to grow at a compounding annual growth rate of 16.5% during the 20-year period from 2010 to 2030. That will mean a 20-fold increase from the level of credit in 2010. The deficit base is expected to grow at a compounded annual growth rate of 14.6%. That is, 14 times the level of deficits in 2010. Assuming that the share of credit to women remains the same, which should not be the case, and the share must increase, but assuming that the level remains the same, even at that level, total credit to women will grow to increase 20 times <coughs> that growth. There is therefore an opportunity to reach more credit to more women. I'm sure the Bharati Mahila Bank will seize the opportunity and multiply it many fold. Bharati Mahila Bank will be a universal bank and will provide every banking service and facility that is provided by comparable public and private sector banks. It will establish branches all over the country and in due course, some branches abroad. We are proud that the first such bank is a public sector bank and I sincerely hope that the private sector will emulate that opportunity. I offer my felicitations to the chairperson, Usha Ananda Subramanian, and the members of the board of directors, employees, and the first customers of the Bharati Mahindra Bank and wish them great success. For the Chief Minister of Maharashtra, Sri Pritya Chauhan, to deliver his address. Thank you. 
the last person of the call. I'm very happy to welcome Prime Minister and the Chairperson of the National Advisory Council, the Chairperson of the UPA, to this function. Momentous day as we create a new institution, an institution for empowering women, for giving them financial empowerment. To the fact that we chose Mumbai to launch this major financial institution in the financial capital of the country. I truly and the bottom of my heart thank Prime Minister, Mr. Gandhi, Finance Minister for the gesture of the signals that we intend to take everybody, not only men folk but women in the field of financial empowerment. I'm very happy that the new institution, Bhatia Mahindra Bank, is inaugurated today. With 25 branches, it's a small beginning, a very important idea. An idea that women can run their own banks, that they can finance their own customers, and there will be special treatment for women who really need help. And that is the spirit of the building India from the bottom. Late Indira Ji, late Raji Ji, and the current leadership of the UP, Prime and the Prime Minister, have stood for empowerment of women all along. We have uh, achieved political empowerment through legislation. My first giving that the person reservation. The local bodies between Maharashtra have increased to 50%. We also have pending in the parliament for giving that the person reservation to women. That is political empowerment. However, for social empowerment, which is still far, far, far from the reach of many women. Economic empowerment is important. That's the second stage. And I think today we take a very important step in the direction of economic empowerment of women. And that will ultimately lead to true equality and even a special social status when they're able to take economic decisions on their own. And many laws that we enacted in our state, in our country, for various activities of empowerment. This today signals a very substantial step for empowerment of women. We have a NASA uh, besides the rights based approach, the right to vote, which will be very helpful to women and more than anybody else, the child. We, we have recently launched Bal Swastika program, the important health initiative. We have the right to education which has been implemented in the two states. The employment guarantee scheme has changed the social landscape by stopping migration. The scheme for travel people, travel women, the right to land, and the recent enactment by the state government, the and the Manohai Yodina, along with the women's policy, the new third women's policy in the state, and also a new draft policy for children in the state. We are all working the spirit of the national government, the UK government, which stands for overall development of every single citizen of the country. They take everybody along, not leaving anybody out, not excluding anybody. What we stand for is inclusive development and it takes a small step of launching all the women's bank, run by the women, for the women, is an important step in the direction. Let me again thank and congratulate the chairman, the Hathi Nagar Bank, Finance Minister and his team, which has fulfilled its pledge which he made in the budget speech this year and also located a corpus of 1,000 crore for this bank of job. It is a strong sector institution in the country. My thanks to the Prime Minister, Finance Minister, Mr. Gandhi. And I wish the back of the thank you. Thank you, sir. May I now call upon the chief guest, the respected chairperson of the UK, Srimati Sonia Gandhi, to deliver her address.
for example, by the Germany structure to support pregnant women and nursing mothers, the popular scheme empowers pregnant girls. We also embark on the process of amending our laws to make them more gender sensitive and to enable them to effectively address issues of persistent gender discrimination. We have legislated for 30% of seats for women in rural and urban local bodies. As many as 15 states have already passed legislation to get more 50% of seats for women at the grassroots level democratic institutions. Consequently, a larger proportion of poor and rural women have been brought into the form of political participation. We have strengthened the law to provide for harsher punishment for sexual offenses against women. But much more needs to be done. It is an acknowledged threat that access to finance and banking not only helps empower women, but also drawing the social basis of development, thus fostering equitable growth. This is an area in which India lags far behind. Our women have minimal access to finance and financial growth. We need to change this state of affairs to enable our women to contribute to the growth processes of the mainstream national economy. Ladies and gentlemen, the setting up of the party of the Manila Bank is a small step towards the economic empowerment of our women. It is also a reflection of our deep <coughs> commitment to this cause. I am sure that the bank will fulfill the objective with which it has been established, namely financial inclusion of women and providing them equal and easy access to financial services. I'm also sure that it will particularly benefit women from the less privileged sections of our society. The fact that it will be run largely by women will serve as an example that given the opportunity, women are capable of taking over challenging tasks. I understand that the bank will initially have several houses which will go up to 25 by March 2020. And we focus equally <coughs> on rural and urban areas. It will offer special projects, keeping in view the needs of women and of the It is a challenging task ahead of those who have been given the responsibility of leading the operations of the spend and nothing in its initial year. But it is also a meaningful and fulfilling endeavor, which we are having interested I wish the management of the bank, its board of director, its chairperson, all the success in the exciting task that they are engaged. I end by reaffirming our government's deep commitment to working for a brighter future for our women and ensuring their safety and security. Thank you. Thank you.
who has spent the six years in Wall Street for one reason and two. The desire of benefits from the It was the culmination of the sound of the Germans. Also, I may add, that was greeted and welcomed by to make this launch possible. Whenever we were in distress and enthusiasm, from the bottom of our hearts, thank you all very much. And on behalf of the scores of officers, Thank you, sir. We request the audience to please remain seated till the distinguished guests on the dais have departed.